Hello, I'm Tim Hellman. And I'm James Davis. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Now You See Me. It's a heist thriller starring Jess Eisenberg and Woody Harrelson, of the Zombieland duo reteaming. Also stars Mark Ruffalo, Isla Fisher, Dave Franco, Morgan Freeman, Melanie Laurent, and Michael Caine. And it's about a team of four magicians that rob banks as they perform magic shows and give the money to their audiences. Ruffalo plays the FBI agent on their case. It was directed by Louis Leterrier, who also directed The Incredible Hulk, Clash of the Titans, and the first two Transporter films. So what do you think of it? I thought it was pretty good. The ending yeah. was... Uh, a little hard to follow, you thought? A little bit, yeah, but yeah. Uh, overall it was a pretty good movie. It was a good laugh, too. I really like Jeff Eisenberg. He's one of my favorite actors. He was a little interesting in this film. It's a little different from because he was normal all films. he was all confident and cocky, which right, which he normally usually, doesn't play. Yeah, more nerdy. Because yeah. in reality, he's really um, insecure and got a lot of mental issues. Because he's talked about how he gets panic attacks when he goes on talk shows. And yeah, he's definitely not confident like this character. But it's good to see him in a different role. That's though. how good of an actor he is that he can do that, play that. And, that's why I think he's inspiring to me because I can relate to him in, in reality and I think he's so successful regardless of his, his issues. He's inspiring to other nerds, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That he can be such a huge star and still have those problems and social inadequacies. Yeah, so I'm a big Jess Eidenberg fan. I like Woody Harrelson, I think they're good together, those two. The rest of the cast was great, I thought. The four main bank robbers weren't that well developed, though, I don't think. I think Mark Ruffalo actually had the most developed character. He, he probably had the most screen time, even though mm -hmm. I, Eisenberg was actually good in top billing, because I think just because Eisenberg is a bigger star, but yeah, I really liked it. I'd give it four stars out of five. Yeah, I'd put it right around there, too. Four out of five. There's some aspects that I didn't I was kind of it, yeah, debating four to four point five, but to go see it, I'm glad it kind of it did a lot better at the box office than they thought it was going to beat After Earth. And like I said, it was just cool to see a nerd like Eisenberg beat a big star like Will Smith. There's so many movies about uh, underdogs, yeah. which is really inspiring to me because I think they're made by underdogs usually. Filmmakers are usually kind of the social outcasts usually. Well, and, <laughs> and a, lot of our, of a lot of people that don't necessarily fit in. And so and try to apply. that's their way they apply their passion and creativity to the, to the world through art.